Joanna Monge and I am a senior project engineer. I grew up in California and then I went to Florida for college and to get my uh, bachelor's and master's degree in civil engineering with a concentration in structural engineering. And now I'm here in Houston working at an engineering consulting company. My day-to-day -day work kind of varies and that's actually kind of what I like about it. One day I can be in the office all day following up with clients or, you know, writing reports. Another day I'll probably be out in the field, you know, visiting uh, job sites and looking at different structures, be it like a parking garage or uh, an office building or apartment complex. And then other days, you know, I'm out to lunch talking to clients, trying to, you know, bring in new projects. Especially working in an engineering consulting company, um, there is a lot of client interfacing and that gives you a lot of opportunities to, you know, talk to people. It's exciting for when my design kind of moves from the paper phase and into construction phase and just seeing my design come to life. As a kid, I've always had an interest in math and science and as I kind of like went through school, I found out that um, engineering was basically an application of both and even under the civil engineering umbrella there's a lot of specialties. There's uh, wastewater management, there's structural engineering, transportation and structural engineering was just something that I was naturally good at and so that's kind of what I decided to pursue. An important aspect of being a structural engineer is safety and so a lot of the things that I look for are just signs of wear and tear on a building. It's important to encourage girls to get into engineering because men and women, they generally have different ways of looking at and, and you know thinking about things. And by having dynamic and different discussions and perspectives, that's how like the engineering industry and the scientific industry have breakthroughs. Things aren't going to change and get better and we're not going to move forward if everyone keeps thinking the same way and keep doing the same things. Makeup is actually one of my biggest hobbies and being an engineer, um, a lot of people t seem to think that because you're an engineer, you are not allowed to like girly things and that is not true. There's nothing wrong with liking girly things and being an engineer at the same time. I'm Maria, a SME Nexter from Pflugerville, Texas. My question is, when did you decide to become an engineer? Hi Marie, thank you for your question. Um, actually, funny story, I didn't always want to be an engineer. When I was uh, younger, I uh, either wanted to be a musician or an actor, um, but I found that um, through you know mentors in school and everything, I realized that I really enjoyed um, math and science. And after learning that engineering is actually an application of both math and science, I decided to uh, pursue engineering um, as a career.